Okay, boys and girls, today we are going to be painting in our paper that we prepared last time. So we are going to be doing some color mixing today, and I'm going to talk to you about the correct way to mix colors um, to make new colors. So we're going to be starting with our primary colors, and our primary colors are listed over here on the left-hand side. So we have an R for red, which means that this whole square will be just red. We have Y for yellow, which means that this whole square will be just yellow. And then of course, our third primary color is blue. So that means that this square is going to be painted in blue. Over on this side, we have these weird uh, kind of math problems or algebra looking problems with letters. Um, and what this is, is, this is telling you exactly what two colors you're going to mix together and what color it's gonna make that's going to go right here. So these are the secondary colors. So we will be using red and yellow mixed together, which will make orange, and we'll paint in this square with orange. Yellow and blue equal green. So we will use yellow and blue here to make green in this square. And then on our last one, we have purple. We will use red and blue mixed together to make purple. So I'm going to go ahead and pause my video for just a second, and I'm going to paint in the primary colors because those will be easy. You don't need to watch me do those because we're just using our red, our yellow, and our blue paint in those squares. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll pick up in just a All right, so as you can see, I have gone ahead and painted my red in my red square yellow in my yellow square and blue in the blue square. So now we're ready to move on to these three and these are going to take us a little bit more time so um, I don't want you to spend a whole lot of time on these. You can get that done pretty quickly. Over here we have our red plus yellow equals O for orange. So when we mix colors, we always add the darkest color into the lightest color. So what that means for us today is we are going to start with the lightest of these two. Which one is lighter, red or yellow? If you guessed yellow, you were right. So we're going to take our yellow paint, and we're going to paint in this square first with just yellow. And notice how I'm moving pretty quickly. It does not need to be perfectly painted in. We're just trying to get our color down and we want it to be wet. We don't want it to have a chance to dry before we add our next color, which is going to be red. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of my red and I'm going to mix it in with my yellow. And then as I begin to mix that red, you can see that it starts to turn orange. If it is not orange enough, then you can add just a tiny, tiny bit more red. If you add too much, it's gonna turn straight red, and we don't want it to be red. We want it to be orange. So we're just adding tiny bits of red to our yellow paint to make it orange. Once we are done with that square, we're gonna move on to our next one. So in this one, we're using yellow and blue. And again, we're starting with the lightest of our colors. So between yellow and blue, which one is the lightest? Yes, if you guessed yellow, you are correct. So we're gonna take our yellow paint first. We're gonna put it in our square. We're gonna get a little bit more water, a little bit more paint. And remember, we don't want our yellow to dry. We want to make sure that we can put our darker color on top while it still is wet. So the next one is blue. I'm going to take just a tiny, tiny bit of blue and I'm going to put it on here in my yellow and then mix it up. And you will see how it starts to turn green. I'm not sure if you can see that on my camera very well, but you will see it on your paper that it will turn nice and green for you. So once we have our green square mixed up, I'm trying to hold it so that maybe you can see the color better, but it's not wanting to show it very well. Our next one, we're using red and blue. And so which one of those is going to be our darker? That one's a little bit harder. 
for red and blue, we're going to actually start with our red and then add a little bit of blue. So I'm going to take my paintbrush, I'm going to get some red paint, I'm going to color this in, color it and paint it in, maybe a little bit more water, because remember we want our paint to be wet, we don't want it to dry before we get a chance to add our next color. So I'm going to rinse out my paintbrush and get a tiny bit of blue and add that in. And as we mix it up, it starts to turn purple. I'm going to add a little bit more blue. You can always add more if it's not turning as much as you would like it to. But if you add too much at the very beginning, you can't take it back out. So I always like to say you can, to just start little tiny bits at a time, adding more as you need to to make it turn the color that you need. Now we have a pretty nice purple happening here. I think maybe I'll add just a little bit more blue. Ooh, that was a little bit much, so hopefully we'll cross our fingers that it doesn't turn too blue. And if it does, what will I do? I will add a little bit more red. That's actually a really nice purple, I think, so I'm going to stop right there. So we have our primary colors on this side, red, yellow, and blue. And then we have made our secondary colors, orange, green, and purple over on this side. And that will be it for today. When you finish, we will put this in the drying rack. We will get our paint and our water bucket cleaned up. And we'll be ready for our next part of our project next time.